What's up, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Retina Display MacBook Pro. It's taken almost four years, but the incredibly popular MacBook Pro has finally received its first update. It might not appear to be noticeably different from previous versions, but it's shed its optical drive, a pound of weight, and a quarter inch of thickness. Did these subtle adjustments actually improve the laptop? Here's our review. The Retina Display MacBook Pro that we reviewed was powered by a quad-core Intel Core i7 processor running at 2.7 GHz that can be boosted up to 3.7 GHz via turbo. It came with 16 GB of RAM and was supplemented with an NVIDIA GeForce GT 650M video card with 1 GB of graphical memory. The MacBook came with a 500 GB solid state drive, as well as a multi-touch trackpad, two Thunderbolt ports, two USB 3.0 ports, and an HDMI port. The laptop also came with a full-sized LED backlit keyboard, 7-hour internal lithium-ion battery, and a memory card slot. Content was also displayed on a 15-inch LED backlit IPS Retina display with a native resolution of 2880 by 1800. The most immediate thing that stood out to us was the build quality of the system, which you come to expect from MacBooks, and arguably from Apple products in general. Being that this is the revised version of the laptop with the eliminated optical drive and standard hard drive in favor of a solid state drive, there aren't any moving parts save fans that can only be heard during processor intensive tasks. As a result, the unibody construction of the system feels much stronger and sturdier than ever before. We had a number of people liken the laptop to a tank because of its construction. The feel of the keyboard was excellent, the articulation of the display was precise, and the system, when closed, sounds authoritative. Another thing that stood out was the Retina display. Simply put, thanks to the 2880 by 1800 resolution at 220 pixels per inch, this MacBook has the highest pixel density of any 15-inch notebook on the market. It's almost like comparing the iPhone 3GS to one of the newer iPhones, or the iPad 2 to the new iPad. Once you've noticed the difference in visual fidelity with this display, such as pixels that are barely visible, an incredible contrast ratio, and colors that explode off the screen, you'll wonder if you can go back to non-retina display systems. It's truly unlike any display we've worked with. Now we expected a machine with these specs would impress, and we weren't disappointed with the machine's performance. Boot times, application launches, and file saving is insanely fast thanks to the unbelievable speeds of the solid state drive. Combined with a large amount of RAM and the GeForce GT 650 video card, the Retina MacBook Pro was a multimedia powerhouse that you could take with you on the go. That means if you want to edit 1080p footage, crank through photo editing, or work on high resolution design projects at Starbucks with this system, you really won't have any problems or hassles with the laptop. The other thing that stood out to us was Mountain Lion, Apple's latest OS that highlights the Apple ecosystem of technology and other features. Sure, it has a lot of iCloud and AirPlay support. Other features include the option to mirror the laptop's display on your TV via wireless and an Apple TV as a receiver, or syncing iMessages across your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. We found Mountain Lion to be as stable as Lion was, while coming with a handful of new tricks. For newcomers, it's an intuitive operating system like other Mac OS X versions, albeit a bit dumbed down for longtime Mac power users. So what weren't we thrilled about with this notebook? Well, strange as it might sound, we didn't like the Retina display for a very specific reason. Because the display's resolution is so high, a lot of websites, apps, and photos don't render properly on it because they might not have the ability to support that many pixels or its heightened resolution. As a result, you'll sometimes suffer from blurry visuals or you won't be able to fully appreciate the screen. We likened it to what happened to iPhone icons once the iPhone received the Retina display because it's the exact same issue. Fortunately, this is something that's changing on a daily and in some cases hourly basis, as developers have been updating their software and web designers seem to be paying attention to the screen's resolution for site updates. Does it ruin the display? No, but it is a minor issue that's currently existing for this awesome screen. Another flaw we had was the lack of user serviceable parts for this notebook. Forget about upgrading the solid state drive unless you do it at the time you buy the laptop. Ditto about trying to take advantage of RAM upgrades due to falling prices. This is potentially the least upgradable machine in the world because every component has been soldered onto the main board of the MacBook. Fortunately, as configured, this system will last for years and years, but you should expect that you'll need to buy a new machine instead of making minor tweaks or adjustments that you could perform on other systems. This leads us to our final point, which is something that frequently comes up with Macs. That's the fact that this is incredibly expensive. 
At this system's current configuration, it comes in at almost 3300 bucks, which is a lot of dough. At this cost, you could pick up a top-of-the-line 27-inch iMac and a 13-inch MacBook Air. It's just something to think about if you want to totally max out your system like we do. We are tech bargains after all. At first glance, the Retina Display MacBook Pro is an almost perfect laptop. The solid state drive, the processor, and the video card are excellent, and its performance blew away some of our multi-core desktops. The display is simply unmatched by any other screen on the market today, and content shown on it is incredible, assuming that you have the apps or the websites that take advantage of the boosted resolution. We hope that a lot of developers and webmasters quickly adapt to this new standard, just as we hope that a lot of users that hope to order this machine come to terms with the fact that once they've ordered it in whatever configuration they choose, they can never really upgrade the system again. Coupled with the price, these make minor blemishes on an otherwise phenomenal laptop. For these reasons, we decided to give the Retina Display MacBook Pro a 4.5 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on systems like the Retina Display MacBook Pro, be sure to go to techbargains.com apple. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com videos.